great pleasure to join you virtually for EduDay India. I want to start off by just saying thank you for the leadership, the perseverance, the heroism through such a challenging time for all of us. I hope you're staying safe and keeping your mindset positive throughout this troubling time. I've been working with schools around the world and across India for the last 10 months, and I have seen tremendous acts of leaders and educators putting new ideas and challenging the old way of thinking about education uh, to really enable what we all matter most, uh, and that's the work that we need to do to help students unleash their talents, to build the future economies, to create innovations, to hopefully prevent the next pandemic. We've seen educators really embrace technology in new ways. Technology is no longer on the side of learning. It's no longer to be checked out of a classroom cart to be used while students are in the classroom. Increasingly now, technology is the way in which we communicate, share ideas, and collaborate. It's become the vehicle for learning. But what matters most and what we've learned throughout all this challenge is the importance of educators bringing their ideas, their passions together, being human with their students to share moments of great understanding and empathy uh, and learning throughout such a new environment. Uh, we've learned that when educators bring that into their classroom, when they bring their own humanity and open their ideas and mindset, you're seeing tremendous innovation. Truly, in the last 10 months, we've made more innovation in the progress of technology's role in education than perhaps you could argue the last several years or decades even as it relates to the way in which we can connect and co collaborate. Now, there's lots of challenges. Certainly, we're seeing increased realities of employers shifting digitally. Uh, the impact to grow economies to rebound post-COVID is going to be a, cr a critical reality. And we've got to focus on preparing students now to fuel that future economy going forward. We know schools will need to be resilient on addressing things like equity and access to ensure every student has access to a quality education and the gap that may exist with technology is not a blocker for students to get access to learning. We've got to continually bring technology in the right place and the right purposeful way and not become dominant in the way in which we connect and value our times together. And as we think about the life of education post COVID, we're going to need to really make sure that we value our time together in the classroom to share our humanity, to bring uh, skills and uh, really practice skills that will be used in the future workforce regularly and then leverage technology as a vehicle to connect when we're not together face to face. Schools will also need to be continually be resilient to prevent uh, and respond to other outbreaks that could happen or other natural disasters that could require us to work and learn remotely. I think going forward, the idea of being in a classroom is not going to be the only way in which we learn and institutions will need to optimize for that. At the heart of all this change is going to be amazing educators. And I have to say, India has been the home of some of the best Microsoft innovative educators on the planet. And I wanna thank all of you for your continued inspiration to me and our teams at Microsoft and the leadership example that you place globally because of the commitment that you have to your students and the innovative work that you do in and out of classrooms. We're going to need your voice going forward. And I have to say, it's been really heartwarming to see educators share ideas with one another. In the early days of COVID, that was something that will, was always stand out, how willing educators were to share ideas. And the one thing that I hope that we can continue to remember going forward, at a time where the world moved to technology as the, as the way in which we learn and connect, the role of educators was not diminished. In fact, it was enhanced. The role that all of you play has never been more appreciated and visible to society. And I hope that's a lesson that we can continue to carry going forward. And to the students that may be watching, uh, I hope that you're inspired by the reality that we're all living through. This is a truly historic moment for all of us. But I want to re re reinstate that the world is responding in a way that will require you to lead going forward. How do we use digital tools to solve real problems? How do we break down barriers of culture and race to be one human uh, kind across the world? And how do we bring our ideas, innovation together to make great things possible? It all starts with mindset. 
And that's what we've learned with classrooms around the world, having that right mindset going forward. And I hope you enjoy the rest of Edu Day India. Bring that positive mindset. Use this as a source of inspiration and collaboration to help push India forward, to continue to lead the way uh, and leverage and unleash the amazing talents that you have with your students across the country. Thanks very much and enjoy the rest of the day.